Okay, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> you know, the hardest part of starting these videos is starting the video. I can never get it, get it out right at the very beginning. So I'm going to try again. Hi, welcome to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. My name is Bob. I hope you guys are all doing great. You know, in the last video, I made mention that I must be father of the year for having my son discover Taj Mahal. And I just thought, wow. I must have raised him up on some good music to be able to, as a young kid, to be able to find Taj Mahal interesting, and he actually loves it. So I think a few of you questioned whether I was really Father of the Year. So I guess it's not officially Father of the Year, but just to prove my point, I do have a trophy I've had for years. It says number one dad. That's close enough, right? So I should, if I could mount that here, I would do it, but can't do that. But anyways... Just proved my point. I am father of the year and number one dad. <laughs> the things I do to try to stroke my ego, huh? Okay, so this is going to be a fun week for us because I had sent an email out to both my YouTube membership people and my Patreon membership people and told them the first person to respond with a recommendation for a video, I would do it. So I was a little nervous because <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. But I got two responses, one from each. And I'm going to try to get those in this week. And I will give you updates on that as they come along. So that's something to look forward to. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about Sigrid. One of my biggest and best surprises in doing these videos was discovering Sigrid. I think I had heard one song of hers. That was, it might have been Dynamite. And then I heard a second one, I think it was my second one, when she sang Home to You. That blew me away. What a beautiful song that just really convinced me that she was something really to be taken completely serious. And I have. I just love her voice. I've loved every song I've heard from her, so I'm excited about this next one. I am going to go back a few years on this and follow up on several requests for this song. The song is called Plot Twist. Um, and I believe it's off the Don't Kill My Vibe EP, which I think was her first EP back, I think it was five years ago. I believe this was the second single she released. I think Don't Kill My Vibe was her first. So this was still a sort of an introductory song to many of her listeners because she was so new. She described this song as kind of a finally getting over someone's song. <laughs> I've been there, and anytime you can get past, like an, whether it be like an emotionally charged relationship or a toxic relationship or just a relationship that just wasn't meant to be, good for you. Get over it and move on. So, all right, so we are going to listen to Sigrid. So let me get my headphones on, and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, we are back. As always, please, please, please like, follow, subscribe, or subscribe, follow, and like, whatever order. Whatever you can do, basically, I would really appreciate it. I'd really like to build up my followers this year. I'm really kind of hoping I do. And if I do, I'll definitely continue doing this. So your help is deeply appreciated. Earlier, when I first started this video, I said it took me a number of tries to get the first words out of my mouth. So after I finished that segment, I went back and I wanted to delete all the incomplete or bad videos I did. And it took me seven tries to get that first video and then the first part and it wasn't even good <laughs> it's just you know it's something about when i start a video my my brain and my mouth just don't coordinate and they're still not doing it today so please bear with me i'm obviously having some moment today and uh hopefully it'll get better as we go on here so again this is sigrid singing plot twist why don't we just get into this and i'll just shut up here we go Someone to trust. Yeah, she does look younger on this. Get tough, grow up, be straight up. But no, oh, 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 you've been so, oh, 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 me. You're the best lie I've ever heard. Or you're the best lie I've never heard. I 
they're saying shots fired. stop it right there because wow this is a short song um okay i, I love that line uh better work on your hype brah <laughs> oh gosh all these sayings that younger people do um are hilarious and you know what i'm sure my parents thought the exact same thing when i was young when we were saying things like groovy and stuff and uh, i don't remember some of the other words i'm sure if i thought about it i can come up with a bunch of them but Anyways, watching this, to be that young again and that full of energy, oh, that would be nice. It, it kind of seems like she's having um, control of the situation with her, I guess, ex-boyfriend or ex-relationship. And it sounds like she's dumping the guy and he obviously wants her back. Clearly, she's having no part of that. So sorry, Charlie. <laughs> she doesn't want you back. For some reason, I find it funny that she keeps calling him brah. And like I said, I think she's saying, better work on that hype, brah. Um, I've heard it called, first it was bro, then it was bra, then I've heard brew. Come on, guys, stick with a word. We're let, we're giving you free reign of it, but pick one and go with it. So by saying bra, I don't know if that's old or if that's newer, but we'll go with it. I also love the fact that she's repeatedly shouting out shots fired. You know what? That adds kind of like a fun and different, I don't know what's the word, seasoning to it. And I call it seasoning because it just adds a little, sprinkles in a little extra emotion in the song, which is fun. So, okay, let's listen to the rest of the song. And uh, we'll talk when we're done about the vocals and the music and stuff. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, I kind of wanted to cut it there just so we could have at least her face on the screen as we're talking about her, because I don't want to talk behind her back or anything. <laughs> you know what? Like I said, I am tired of watching these young people bounce around, and um, okay, I'm not tired of it. Actually, I'm really jealous, <laughs> so kudos to you if you can still do that. When she was down, way down, almost sitting on the ground, I'm thinking, man, if I was in that position, I would need... I'd be looking like this, waiting for someone to give me a hand to help me up because I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. 
All right. So now that we have um, the gist of the song down, let's talk vocals. Needless to say, I've loved her raspiness, and I've made mention of it many times in her voice since really the first time I heard her. That was one of the first things that really drew me into her. It doesn't appear quite as strong in the song, but you do hear it at the very beginning when she's singing a little softer, you hear some of that raspiness. And I, I didn't hear it as much when she was singing louder or higher. I just didn't seem to come across as much, but that kind of makes sense just by the, because your vocal cords are working differently. Every time um, I have heard a song from her, her vocals and sound are just wonderful. And it's really fun to follow some of these sounds she's making with her voice throughout the song. And that's one of the things I've always really liked about her. They've got this built-in excitement, her sounds, that really draw you into the song. I mean, they really do. And I can't finish this segment without mentioning one more thing. I really enjoyed the beat in this song. I, I, I'm i sure they weren't drums. I'm going to guess they're like synth drums or something. I don't know exactly what the word is. Maybe you guys can fill me in a little bit. But the song had such unique timing on that side of it that it just really was an enjoyable watch for me. So, okay, let me get my headphones off. And we'll be back for my final thoughts. Hold on. Okay, we are back for the exciting, the world-famous final thoughts. I need to find a way where I can use the phrase, better work on that hype, bruh, in my real life. IRL, in case you're up with today's terms <laughs> in real life. Um, okay, so I've always loved how Sigrid appears so sincere and genuine and authentic. She just, more than most of the artists I listen to, she just seems that way. I guess Aurora probably would give me that same vibe, and Lucy Thomas definitely. They're always just, with um, Sigrid, there always just appears to be such a natural, positive energy around her. I don't get any feelings that she's just doing this to try to appease her audience or anything like that. I think what she sings just comes from her heart and not something that um, she might think that might uh, just help her fans out, what they might like. She's singing, I think, for herself, which I think the way it should be. She must be gaining some recognition <laughs> because I heard her once again at the grocery store. I think this might be the second or third time I actually heard her song coming across. I don't remember which one it was. I know it's one I've reacted to. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. I just don't remember. But I knew the song, so it must have been one I reacted to. So they always say cream rises to the top. So no surprise to me that she's uh, definitely gained some recognition. Enough recognition to be playing while I'm going shopping. That's awesome. In Chicago. <laughs> a second ago, I hit on a word, which I kind of was thinking about. That was, was kind of important. I want to say one more thing on it. I said she was natural. Um, you know what? She doesn't, looking at this video, she doesn't pack on the makeup. She doesn't overdress or, you know, fancy dress. She doesn't have these overly choreographed movements. It's just natural. She's just out there having fun, and she's drawing energy from her natural, genuine emotions. And that's what, in my opinion, should always drive music not just dollars like they do in today's world, especially a lot of these artists, a lot of these artists out there, they're more concerned about dollars than creating good music that we're going to want to be listening to 30, 40 years down the line. And that's a shame because there are a lot of talented people. And I just think once in a while, you know, their direction's wrong. I hear a voice and I'm like, wow, it's an amazing voice, but what the heck are they singing? And that's coming from an old guy. So maybe I'm just missing out on today's songs, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Yay, Sigrid, you did it again. And I do have another song I can play on my list now. So I'm excited about that. All right, guys, as I said before, 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 please like, follow, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out. I will talk to you next time, probably tomorrow. So, all right, take care. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,